through the cadenza of the first movement of the Vaughan Williams Concerto. First of all, we have to remember what a cadenza is. Back in the classical days, cadenzas were not typically written out. They were to be either composed by the performer or improvised. The original idea of a cadenza is to play very freely, to pretend like the music has never been written and I'm just making it up as I go. Let's start from the beginning. You have to understand that this movement is in the key of F minor, so you are playing fifth tonic. So establish the F first in your mind. Once you've established that in your practice session, now play the C to the F. The C is the fifth. The F is the tonic. want to play that C with your best sound. So when you are practicing this cadenza, when you start off, you need to ask yourself after you play that first C, is that the best sound I can make? If not, stop, do some exercises until that C is the best sound you can make. of the opening of the piece. Right? It wasn't The other reason why I like to play it all the way through is it shows the listener that I am able to make a big long phrase without running out of air and it doesn't break up the music. I'm going to play the opening for you again, but this time I'm going to play the C stronger and I'm going to hold it longer in order to command the space of the room and to keep the attention of the listener. second notes. I've had some advice from some people who were really close to Philip Catmanet in the day that he premiered the piece and my understanding from those people is that Vaughn Williams wanted to go boom play your 30 second notes from get-go to really show off. So what I would suggest you do is think, do you want to start it slowly and speed it up? Or do you want to start it quite fast and then slow down when you get to the top? Or do you want to do a mixture of the both? All right, now for the next part of the cadenza. This is foreshadowing the second movement. The second movement is entitled Romanza. So I would play this as a romanza. You know what foreshadowing is, don't you? Foreshadowing is in a story when something happens briefly to get us ready for 
that thing to happen a lot in the next chapter or the next episode or the next page. part, but if you leave it out, you have to play an A flat instead of an E flat later on. So you have to play an A flat somewhere in that cadenza. There's no way out of it. And if you can't play an A flat, a high A flat, I suggest you start working on your upper register. Make sure you sing through it and hold it out and be strong. this with any tuba is with multiphonics and play it through in one breath. I'll give you an example. Alright, now I'm going to play the cadenza for you. My way. Here we go. 